You're watching Telecom TV from the SDN NFV World Congress event in The Hague. And I'm joined now by Mark Leclerc of NoviFlow. Mark, good to see you. Let's start by telling me a little bit more about NoviFlow and the background to the company. NoviFlow uh, has existed for just over five years uh, in the SDN space. What we're known for is having developed the highest performance, fully programmable forwarding pipeline. That's our NoviWare network operating system. Uh, and it is designed specifically to take advantage of programmable forwarding planes to be able to apply all sorts of new techniques and capabilities that are made possible by having a fully programmable networking infrastructure. The, the end result of that is that the networking fabric becomes part of the programmable resources in a data center instead of being kind of a, a, a separate black box that you can't really converse with. Uh, now the applications can directly address the network and ask for resources and interactively change the network's behavior depending on user uh, demand. Now you're making a few announcements here this week. Tell me first of all about what you're doing with Barefoot Networks. Uh, Barefoot has introduced the Tofino chip and this is the first time that there's actually a hardware architecture that is designed from the ground up to be used with a programmable uh, uh, networking environment. And uh, our networking operating system, NoviWare, is really ideally suited to run it. So what we've done is we've actually uh, uh, implemented our NoviWare network operating system on the Tofino chip and we're actually demonstrating it live at the show. And how are you collaborating with Lumina Networks? Uh, Lumina is an application partner that we work with. Uh, we do the forwarding plane, that is to say the carriage of the bits. They do the applications that do interesting things with those bits. And specifically in this case, we've partnered together to create an MPLS and segment routing application that can save network operators 40 to 60 percent on the cost of that infrastructure. You've also got a cybersecurity demo running on the stand. Can you explain what it is you're showing here? One of the other things that we've also done uh, to demonstrate some of the features uh, of our forwarding plane uh, is to bring it together into a cybersecurity application. The reason we did that is because we have multiple customers and partners who are currently developing cybersecurity applications using our uh, uh, the features available uh, in our NOS and via the switches, and we brought that together into a single package. And we also did a second thing with it, is because some of the companies involved are not very sophisticated sophisticated in the use of SDN and they don't necessarily have the resources to, to build a whole SDN program, we kind of put together a, a package, a kind of a closed box we call CyberMapper uh, and it takes the network controller and all of the software to run this and it puts that in a, in a single software package that is accessible through RESTful interfaces. So they can implement this in their network without having to actually know very much about SDN. What's the significance of these interfaces, the, the RESTful? Well, what happens is that uh, you know, with SDN, you get a lot of ability to program the network, but you have to learn how SDN controllers function, and it, it's a rather sophisticated environment. So some uh, you know, companies will, will be able to do that very, very quickly and will, will want to invest in developing the competencies and the resources to do that directly. Others will simply want to take advantage of its capabilities, and a RESTful interface is a simple API that you know, pretty much any programmer can use to do specific functions. So this makes it very, very simple to deploy these technologies in their networks to resolve specific pain points. And, and particularly cybersecurity right now is a very hot issue and it's, it's on a lot of people's minds. And this expands the scope of the type of protection they can implement without making the network much more complex. So it's a simple way of getting started with this. So you're helping operators and enterprises with their transition to NFE while still coping with their legacy networks. I'm glad you brought that point up because that's an another thing with a lot of our customers. Um, you know, they have significant investments that they've made in their existing infrastructure. And if we went in there and we said, well, you have to trash all of that, that, that wouldn't work. Okay. So what we do is we apply SDN as an overlay on their existing networks. And what we do is we, we transfer a portion of the functions that they have in their current network into SDN. So one function at a time. Then when you do it that way, uh, I'll use the MPLS uh, example, uh, you know, what we're doing with Lumina uh, uh, is, is a good example of that. You know, right now, the MPLS infrastructure and in a lot of operator networks is really becoming overwhelmed. The traffic has grown tremendously and that infrastructure is 
very expensive. And so what we allow them to do is to actually move a portion of that traffic onto the new SDN-based infrastructure, which is much less expensive. So we apply a cap and grow type of strategy where they, they, they continue using what they have. We just take some of the burden off so that that equipment, not only is the value preser preserved, but they can continue using it as long as they want to. Okay, And they just transfer those functions over to the SDN side when they want to. Mark, thank you very much.